All right, let's take a little look at the model viewer. This is a pretty simple application. It's just gonna be used to check your models, do some testing, set up effects, look at dyes. It's just a lot quicker than loading up the game and checking out your work. All right, to start the model viewer, just uh, start up Steam, go to Brawl of Ages. Mine says beta testers right now, yours won't. Right click on it and click model viewer. That'll load up the model viewer. All right, let's take a quick look at this panel here. Uh, the top one is your model list. It's going to list all models in the game and or your mod folder if you have that set up properly. If you don't, you need to check the instructions on how to do that. That's how you're going to get your own custom stuff into the game. So let's pop down to a model over here and try it and that's how you load it. You can also switch through animations. If they're properly set up, this plays through all the clip files that are listed out in the model definition file. You can also slow, slow the animation speed down to a stop even and cycle through and you can kind of check stuff out in detail. Ground plane is pretty nice. That's going to allow you to see the shadows and, and the character on the ground. This is also good when doing effects because you'll be able to see ground planes and other kind of uh, ground sprites on the ground itself. Bones are important. Kind of more for debugging your character and or doing effects. Sometimes you want to anchor an effect onto certain bones so you want to go in and look at the actual bone names. Wireframe can be sort of useful once in a while if you're exporting something and it's not showing up. Maybe you want to see if it's invisible or if there's an actual mesh there. Sun altitude and azimuth are good for if you're trying to light light your character. Maybe you're trying to take a screenshot. Um, you can kind of plan around with that and see how the shaders and how his textures look. So to navigate it, left click and move your mouse around will orbit the camera around um, the object. If you hold middle mouse button, and move around that's going to pan your view left and right up and down and if you scroll the mouse wheel that's going to be your zoom in and out so with those three commands you can pretty much uh, move everything around if you end up zooming too far in and something gets messed up you can hit the backspace key and that's going to center your view again or you can also click this center button right here as long as everything's in the proper path you can drag and drop effects There are some more advanced features you can get to by using the console, and that's control F8. And you can do a CVAR list, and that's going to list all the console variables for you. Uh, there's things like MVBG color, and uh, let's try to say make it green, that's RGB value, so 0, 1, 0, that's RGB. And that's how you can do things like change the background color. And I'm not going to get to too many details there, but you can kind of explore around on your own with that uh, list and kind of see if there's anything you might want to use. But um, that's the basics of the model viewer. You're going to use that to test out your dyes and skins and gear sets. Um, everything should reload on its own. So if you're working on a skin in Photoshop and you save the file, it should auto-update in here. And um, again, it's going to be the quickest, easiest way to kind of work on your artwork.